A new book that comes out tomorrow reveals previously unknown details about the 2016 Trump campaign and how one of its top officials became a key witness in the probe of Russian election interference. Her name is Daphne Barak. She's author of To Plea or Not to Plea. It's a story of Rick Gates and the Mueller investigation. Spoke exclusively to Gates, who's been convicted of financial fraud and making false statements to the FBI. Paula Reed talked with Paula Barak about the book. Paula, so here's a question. Is Gates still cooperating with investigators? Good morning, Gil. Hey. Yes, he is. He is expected to testify in the Justice Department's upcoming trial against another longtime Trump associate, Roger Stone. And speaking publicly for the first time, Gates reveals how he went from being a close confidant of President Trump to a convicted felon. The Trump campaign, it was not a very sophisticated operation, but it was a very effective and, and smart operation. Former Deputy Trump campaign chairman Rick Gates is speaking publicly for the first time since he was charged by special counsel Robert Mueller in October 2017. Gates was by Mr. Trump's side from the very early days of the campaign, but he was frozen out after he came under scrutiny in the special counsel's investigation for his lobbying work in Ukraine. His life was interrupted. At one moment, everything stopped. Author and journalist Daphne Barak, who says she is a close friend of the president's, spoke to Gates about why he finally decided to make a deal with Robert Mueller and flip on his former boss and Trump campaign chairman, Paul Manafort. You have to play because it's millions and, and the government will just come with more and more charges. During his blockbuster testimony against Manafort in the summer of 2018, Lawyers pressed Gates on his past infidelity, as well as stealing from his former boss. Rick Gates is a convicted liar. Why should we believe anything he told you? It was always be a stigma that all these people are convicted liars. On the other hand, at the Mueller report, they found his testimony very credible. Gates also opened up to Barack about behind the scenes details from the campaign. We had uh, a lot of things to think about in the context of, of, you know, who Donald Trump might want, uh, you know, as a potential running mate. Gates said Vice President Mike Pence was not then candidate Trump's first pick. To be, you know, candid, he wasn't at the top of the list uh, at that moment, and, and rightfully so. I mean, we had just started and we had others to vet. He revealed that it was the first lady, Melania Trump, who insisted Pence be her husband's running mate because she didn't think he would run against Mr. Trump in 2020. Despite no longer being in the president's inner circle, in this book, Gates speaks glowingly about the entire Trump family, though the author tells me the president has not spoken with Gates about this book or his decision to plead guilty. But Gates continues to cooperate with the Justice Department as he awaits sentencing on charges of financial fraud and lying to investigators. Tony. All right, Paula, thank you very much.